Welcome to our today's do-it-yourself solutions to your major life challenges and critical life issues. Today we will be dealing with how to identify if you are in relationship with a toxic person. 34 signs we will be talking about and how it harms you generally. For the content of this video, please click on the link given in the view more tab of the video description. For real value addition through this topic, please focus only on the content. Kindly ignore my lacunas in pronunciation, tone, expressions, accent, grammar, my looks and even this video's background. Now, you need to understand that manipulative and toxic people drain our resources, our energies, our enthusiasm and our zeal to live life. This they do by constantly pushing us to work harder and harder to please them by making us compromise more and more with our needs, desires, wants. Their shouting, their show up of power, their chest thumping, their aggression and their violence is actually a mask and a facade to cover their own feelings and insecurities and adequacies because they feel bad about themselves and want to use somebody else to cover their own feelings of inadequacies they create this uh, cover all these people are deeply insecure people emotionally insecure people with very low self-esteem very low self-respect very low self-worth and self-confidence etc etc in fact the more someone displays the arrogant, the controlling, the dominating, the violent behavior, the more emotionally insecure they are internally. Their toxic behavior is just a mask or facade to hide their weaknesses. It is their way of getting even with the world, which typically happens to be their closed and most caring people. Many of the people we come across in life are annoying difficult, demanding or plain unpleasant, but all of them are not toxic. These people in most cases are just undesirable. In fact, these pe people help us in improving ourselves if we can learn how to handle them properly and effectively. There are distinct differences between people who are harmful to our well-being and those who have a negative outlook because they are struggling with their own sadness, failure, in misfortune, etc. In this article, we are talking about truly toxic people, the kind that infects, affects, impacts and make us feel worthless. <clears throat> then let us find out how to recognize toxic people. These people could be narcissist, having borderline personality disorders, or having any other antisocial disorder. So, one of the things you have to, you will notice that they call you when they want something from you. They are only nice when you can supply them with something they are desperate for. They won't normally show any appreciation, any acknowledgement or any gratitude of what you have done for them, even if you have sacrificed your life for them. Expecting reciprocation of help, support, understanding, etc. from them is like expecting males to get pregnant. In fact, they would never even acknowledge your help or effort. When they need something badly from you, they are all charms and when they don't need, you get ignored completely and they drop you so suddenly that you get stunned. The deadly toxic types can charm the pant of anybody. This is one quality they have in abundance. Then if you are living with a toxic person, you get blamed even for things you are not connected with. You are blamed for everything going wrong in their life. They put you down, insult you and make you feel horrible about yourself publicly as well as when you are with them. They pretend to be your friend and well-wisher 
in the initial courtship period as well as when they need something from you. You always feel bad about yourself when you spend time with them. Whatever you say, they take it personally, even if what you said is not directed at them at all. Even jokes which are innocent, they can turn it against you by creating a grudge. Tantrums and drama are part of their behaviors whenever you are together. They are very suspicious of you, your intentions and your actions. They never accept their mistakes even if when it is evident. In fact, they may find a reason in their mistakes to blame you. Like, I murdered that person because you did not do this for me or you did this. They will never apologize or say sorry. They will say sorry only if they need something badly or they uh, will say sorry when you ask for it and you insist on that. But when you ask them specifically what they are sorry for, they will give you a see-through look as if you don't exist or the question that you have asked is so stupid. You will find that they are aggressively competitive and jealous of you and your accomplishments. If you do very well, it may only make to increase their cruelty towards you. They are never happy for you when good things happen, although in public they may show and tell others how happy they are. They will often backbite behind your back. If every responsibility of making the life work with them is your responsibility alone. They will never ever commit for everything. They will never ever accept their mistakes. In case they accept their mistakes, it would mean they are planning bigger trauma for you. They will verbally tell that they understand you and your pains, but they have absolute lack of empathy. They use whatever you have shared with them in good faith, your weaknesses, your mistakes, to use it against you and to make you feel guilty. They can be so magnetically attractive that you start feeling attracted towards them in such a way that even the thought of leaving them may fill you with hopelessness. Because their fangs have dug so deeper in you. They may force you to do things to get you into trouble. They will always talk bad about others. They will play the triangle of victim suiting to their uh, agenda, that of being a victim, a rescuer and a persecutor. They will try to cut you off from your close people and support lines. They will threaten, shout and even tell you that they will kill themselves if you don't do what they want. But they seldom do. They will never do that. Rather. They will constantly rake up several issues again and again. They will always talk about in grandiose terms how great they are. They will also expect you to glorify them every day basis.